do you remember what this looked like like six years ago? This was just covered in water wall aliens. And now it's just open and there's, I mean, even the landowners say, like there's just choruses of frogs and the birds that you can hear, like it's just been brought back to life. Just seeing what actually happens to a wetland when you put some conservation mitigation measures in. We started clearing, expanding the wetland, and it just started working again. Oh, they all Nivea's wetlands and their associated tributaries and river systems. It's the biggest wetland easily in the Western Cape, probably the entire country, and it's the most southerly in Africa. Roughly three quarters of that wetland was actually full of Port Jackson, longleaf wattle, other woody invasive alien species. These wetlands serve as reservoirs for seeds, water, for not only game, but birds, fish, frogs, everything else needs these wetlands to survive. If the aliens take over these wetlands, they basically dry it up, they change the habitat in there completely, and you go from a great biodiversity point of view to something where it's literally a desert. In 2018, we got funding from WWF, um, and the funding was um, focused on improving habitat for birds. We looked at creating functioning, healthy, habitat and an ecosystem, so using the wetland as the basis. We came across the SMA and the work that they're doing um, and understood that they can contribute to a large part of improving the management of biodiversity in this landscape. We started strategically clearing the perennial and non-perennial tributaries that um, are flowing directly into the river system as well as affiliated um, wetlands and then some vegetation, additional vegetation types as well, fame moss um, that's lying right next to the wetland and that um, uh, acts as corridors and buffer zones. If we look at it over six years, the original project boundary was 440 hectares um, of wetland and to date we've actually extended the whole project boundary and it's now at 960 hectares. So almost double, actually more than double. For the afgelopen six years, we have done alien clearing and we have all concentrated on the wetland area to get it clean, so that we can get the water to the natural habitat. I get nine people in the same time span, so that will say our ten. Then is there the span of Elam, that is then a five. I think what's really impressed us with the successes of this project is the return on investment. So the amount of money that we've um, provided to the SMA and the, the outcomes that they've been able to achieve, especially with the restoration work. Um, they've always overachieved on their hectare targets. We were looking at, um, in this project specifically, at how the bird community changes when the vegetation cover changes. So we used fixed point photography and um, drone aerial imagery as well. Our results have shown that um, as the vegetation cover has changed, so from a closed canopy woodland um, type structure um, to an open wetland uh, with a lot more pioneer species and the indigenous vegetation coming through there's been a huge shift in the bird communities present and species um, so we're seeing more where we were seeing doves and drongos uh, more affiliated with woodlands before we are now seeing a lot more ducks warblers really what has what has been a great success is enabling that uh, ecosystem functioning, which obviously brings back a whole lot of species, um, and also the discovery of uh, populations of the micro frog, um, several plant species that we had no idea that actually occurred here. We found a brand new population of micro frogs, um, which are critically endangered in South Africa. In fact, they only occur in the Western Cape province. Our rough guesstimates of the population size and the area they occupy is that by clearing these wetlands and rehabilitating them we've actually doubled the amount of habitat available to um, these microfrogs in the entire Western Cape. This is the Tanthus nervus anus or the Niveas lily is brand new to science and literally it's in the buffer areas to our wetland and that is the only place that it occurs. The other impressive part of this is 
the way that they've partnered with the Overberg District Municipality, for example, um, keeping uh, people employed throughout the year doing invasive early plant control. Hierdie project is anders as anders projecten omdat vir die afgelope 6 jaar het ons constant werk gehad. Daar was nie a boekjaarsluiting na jy wachtperiode het van 2 3 maande dat jy by die huis moet sit. Sosiaal sowel as geestelik het hierdie mense wat onder my werk persoonlik. Ek kan die verskil sien. Hulle het baie gegroei en ons probeer nog steeds om nog verder te groei. My doel wat met hulle is, is om hulle allemaal te uplift. Dat hulle nie begin, hulle moet begin het dink soos managers. We developed a program, an environmental education program, that we rolled out in our local schools um, because we want the children to come out to the wetlands, see what functions they've got, see what, what these wetlands are actually doing for you. And it's not just a place to throw rubbish and dump things and, you know, uncovering little frogs and seeing what the palmit is actually doing. The amount of schools that we've actually bought here, we've done the entire school of Elam um, for three years in a row now and that's 200 kids and then we started doing MISPA as well um, and that's another 100 kids. For this project is ons baie dankbaar. Ek het begin die eerste jaar en ek het nie geweet waarvoor ek my inlaat nie. Skiet ek myself in die voet of is dit a way forward? For die afgelope 6 jaar het hulle vir my gewys, dit is die way forward. Indien WWF nie na vore gekom het nie, sal ons by die huis gaan sit dit. Want um, hierdie mense weier om vir enige ander project te gaan weier. Hulle weier volstrekt. This project, I feel like it just put Nivea's on the map. We were just uncovering so much here. Um, new finding new species, finding new populations of species. So this, this project has just been... Like I, don't, I, like I literally actually don't know the words to describe it because it's, it's just been remarkable and we are so thankful that we were able to be part of it.